So ever since I read that you can make a grilled cheese sandwich in an air fryer, I'm going to try it. So the air fryer, I got it warming up right now. Give that a few minutes. And now I'm about to butter the bread up real quick. And then I'm going to get some cheese. And while I usually wouldn't use yellow American cheese, I'm going to because I'm trying to get to the last of this anyway. So let's see how that works. And I said, hooray, it said you put the bread in first. And then you put the other buttered side in second. And then it's not going to get pressed, is it? But put it back in here. Well, let's see how this looks in about two, three minutes. Also, I'm doing this about 350. I've heard 375 can be used. But because of the fact that uh, my air fryer goes a little harder, a little higher, I guess, I'm going with 350 just to test it out this time. And so far, so good. I mean, it's getting a little on the side, but you know, like I said, American cheese. So it's probably gonna be a hell to clean up. Looks like this. All right, so look at that, golden brown. Jesus, okay, I see it. Now for the taste test. All right, so now for the taste test, look at that. Nice golden brown. Okay, see how gooey it is, and let's see a separation. Okay, y'all heard that, nice crunch. Mmm. Looks good on the inside, but ain't got the gooeyness. But, like I said, I didn't want to use American cheese anyway. Not a bad sandwich, pretty much perfect, time-wise. That's the only thing. You could probably do it just as easy on the stove, but if you just want to like set it and forget it, air fryer ain't bad. Maybe it's rice with a better cheese next time.